<laughs> mm. Welcome back to the Morning Blend. The cream puff is no ordinary treat. It is the icon of State Fair. On average, 350,000 cream puffs <laughs> are consumed every year. Some people get so excited. As big as her head. <laughs> I know. The dairy delicacy. They can't even wait until the fair opens to get their fix. That's right. And here to help feed the beast is Gene Miller from News Radio 620 WTMJ yep. to chat about Cream Puff a Palooza. Yeah, it's happening tomorrow morning, dark and early at 6 a.m. Great yeah. nights will be out at State Fair handing them out while supplies last. It's impressive how early people will get up for their cream puffs. Well, A, it's free, B, it's a cream puff. I mean, come on, what other inducement do you need? It's the breakfast of champions. Exactly. Right. So how does it work? How many cream puffs do you get, and, and what's the rule? You get a six-pack, one per car, and the cars will start lining up at 84th and um, right by the Pettit Center in that parking lot there. And uh, Greg will be there to hand you your cream puff, shake your hand, give you a little pat on the... Greg the Matt's up on your way. Yep. Mm -hmm. And um, they're there while supplies last. And, you know, I want to tell people get there early because uh, they go really quick. We're expecting long lines as always. Yeah. Well, we, we mentioned the number that State Fair sells in a year, 350,000. Right. Do you have any idea how many Greg will be handing out tomorrow morning? Hundreds is what I've been told. Wow. While supplies last. Now, the, don't get a false sense of security about that, people. That doesn't mean you can just go lollygagging up there at 830 and expect <laughs> to get a box of cream puffs. I would get there early. Now, that doesn't mean wake up the kids and be there at midnight either. Right. Yes. Um, you know, but I'm sure there will be people lined up when Greg arrives waiting for their cream puffs. Okay. Yeah. And it's free for people. They just right. show up. You get handed that box, as you're seeing, little handle on top. You've done this <laughs> in years past. How do people react when they get their cream puffs? Like you hand them bricks of gold. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it really is. Because it tells you several things. It's summertime in Wisconsin and it's yeah. State Fair right around the corner opening up on Thursday. And uh, there's nothing like the first taste of that State Fair cream puff. It really brings the whole experience home. Do you mm -hmm. have any tips on how to eat one of those? Because, I mean, I, it, like it an Oreo? Be, yeah, it could be a little <laughs> overwhelming to look at it. Right. If you bite right in, um, you Face want. First. Yeah, you look like a rabid dog when you're done. <laughs> yes. Not the look you want to achieve. Uh, yeah, I think the professional, the pro tip would be to unscrew the top from the bottom. I like that and unscrew. Eat it that, yeah, that's the technical <laughs> yeah. term. I went to college for that. Clockwise or counter? <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I think if you're south of the equator, you go the other way, yeah, kind of like right. the way the toilet drains <laughs> or the sink drains. Yeah, just unscrew it. That would be the pro tip and eat it that way. That way, um, and keep a pinky in the air, too. Oh, yeah, that's good manners. Oh, I the like pinky that. in the air. <laughs> yeah. All right, I like I'm that a one. Classy too. guy. Very highbrow. Do people who are helping serve, do they get to eat any? Do they get any themselves? I've not been there myself. I'm back in the warm, dry studio, oh, okay. so I don't actually get to see if they get to snitch any. <laughs> Like you would come think first. it's like the the you know like that's your payment for going and volunteering is to one, get one green puff. One for you, one for me. That's yes. why I couldn't bartend because you know one <laughs> right? drink for them, one drink for yeah. me. Short night. No, will Greg bring some back for you tomorrow? Do you he expect? darn well better. <laughs> Otherwise, he's not allowed back in the plant. That's right. I like it. Okay, so it starts tomorrow. Um, it, they've been doing it, I know, for, for so many years, and people really respond to oh, this. Yeah. And I, I think it's fun for people to get a free taste of the fair ahead of time, which is super fun. So tomorrow morning, um, Greg Matzik's going to be there starting at 620 any reason why it's those numbers? I don't know. Something about uh, <laughs> frequency friendly, I'm guessing. It's all about the marketing. I like it. Starting at 620 tomorrow morning, it's Cream Puff of Palooza. You get a free six pack of cream puffs. Um, that's tomorrow again, starting at 620. The, it's the parking lot near the Pettit. That's right. a pretty big area. 84th Street. Oh, you'll see 84th. the crowd. We'll have okay. lights. Yeah, we'll, we'll make okay. sure we'll get you in and we'll get you out. We had some woman called this morning. She was very concerned. She had a lot of questions. And she said, Will they let me in? And then and let me out. It's like, no, you're not going to be sent to some. <laughs> you don't have to eat corners. them all on site. Right, yeah. yeah. You're not going to go to some pastry vortex where you never escape from. No, we'll let you go after you get your cream puffs to have the rest of your Wednesday. I like it. Always I got to get the people too. from the airport, you know, like. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Directing the flow of traffic. Always great to see you. Yeah, thanks, Gene. Thank you Take so care. much.